Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video at the airfield. This is your host, Duke Nukem, and I'm going to be transferring you now to the man of the hour. This is the man of the hour. It is Bernie time. The reason this is Bernie time is because I'm going to be a spoiler and let you know this is here for a reason. He's the man of the hour. And you're going to see why in this quite excellent performance. Now this game occurs after he had already been the man of the hour in the T-3488. So if you've seen that video, you've already seen his handiwork. Now, prepare yourself for another one. And, mm, it's just as good, possibly better. Tomato, tomato. It'll depend on the person. So he's running a thresher here as his brownie. I... I'm running artillery. So you'll see me wing a shot here or there in this match. In fact, you just saw one of mine cross over there from right to left. There it is. That's me shooting artillery. Trying to get that cruiser. I just could never get him. I got part of him, but not the whole thing. It was kind of bogus, too. But I mean, that's, that's how it goes. These guns don't shoot right at all. So take that into account. When you do something excellent in this game, you've done something quite excellent. Because their guns don't operate properly. Nice shot. Now you'll see Bernie revert to his sniper roots. This is a killer shot that he makes. Getting him right through the V in between those rocks. Just crushing this guy. Sniper style. And you're dead. Nice shot. So he's doing you know, freelance medium style shooting, but in certain instances he will scope it in and drill him like a sniper. And you just saw one of those right there. So as you can see, we're losing. It's We're down six to nine, which is quite bogus. Game ain't over yet, buddy. Brownie just got whacked. Now I'm shooting the guy that was behind Brownie. Brownie was, in a, was caught in the pincer. That logo right there. Uh, Bernie was shooting at that guy. He killed the thresher. And then there's a logo over here that I killed. That guy. Yeah. You're dead, freak. Now that guy was shooting Brownie in the back. That's how Brownie got killed. Because he was facing fire from two separate guys. I couldn't get that logo in time. I didn't notice, know it because Brownie did not tell me what was happening. I discovered it late and that's what cost Brownie his life. And Bernie came in there, nailed the thresher while I worked on the logo. So we're trying to bring this back, being down three guys. So Bernie asked me about this medium. I'm like, you rang. And so, boom, he's gone. No more medium for him. So what happens to this guy? This guy is a... T-116. Yeah. Well, I can tell you who's going to die there. It's the blue guy. That was me pounding him. Now I was going to pound him again, and now Brownie 
make sure that I know that there's a guy there. He just killed me by spinning around and drilling me. I don't know what happened with that cruiser. It was that cruiser with that, with that uh, you know, overpowered gun. That's how he killed me. Which is, it's very bizarre. So I got whacked, and that leaves Bernie against these five guys. Now, the good news is, they're all damaged. And he's, you know, been awesome. There you go. This guy's toast. One shot, one kill. This guy's toast also. He'll get killed in two shots. Boom, dead. Bernie is low on ammo. As you can see, he's only got nine shots left. Oh, look. Here's a guy shot at him. Well, he's dead. Don't tug on Superman's cape, Sonny. I'm just going to let you know. It's a, that's a helpful hint for the future. No charge. So now there's two guys left. The artillery... And one other guy. Which guy is that? Ah, that is another robot. The Igo. So Bernie is going to go after him with a whopping eight bullets left after he killed that guy that killed me. So when Bernie is engaging this guy... I was telling him about a guy I was fighting last night where I had to ram him. So anyway, Bernie drills him here. He's going to drill him again. And then he's going to show you why the Dodge Ram is the best truck in World of Tanks. Dodge Ram. So that was fantastic. He saved a bullet. And now he's going after the artillery. But if you look at Bernie's health, he's in trouble. He is literally... A fraction of a shot away so one shot will kill him so I said you know don't go up the front entrance right there to the right where the reticule is here go around to the left and you know see if you can scout around for the artillery before entering the circle now what's happening here is that after that guy shot at Bernie he apparently took off and was headed to our base You'll know in, you know, 30 seconds or whatever, 40 seconds. You'll know why I say that. But we don't have knowledge of this occurring until he gets to the base himself. So there is the front door. So don't go there. Go around this left side. Because there's several entrances you can go into the base from, and it's not obvious. So pay attention to your maps, and you know, think, remember what's going on. So he's here, just uh, a little bit on the southwest side of the map. I mean, of the base. Right here, there's a ramp. It goes to this little knob hill, and it gives you an overlook of the base. And if the artillery was trying to ambush Bernie from inside the base, he'd be able to see and detect him here. But nothing happens. And so I said, hey, I just go in there across the line right here. Man, no one's going to be looking for you here. So put the clock on this guy. Now let's put some pressure on him. See how he responds. He could run away, lose on time. He could try to charge back, but most of the time artillery won't do that because they're weak. Or he could go to our base and try to capture it. So now, Bernie has a high probability chance of winning, probably about 95%. The only thing that guy can do is artillery is shoot back and tag Bernie. Tag him and kill him or tag him and cause him enough, you know, splash damage 
to lose his capture points and then he'd win the match because Bernie can't get back to him in time. So that's why I estimate this at about 95% max. It might be it might be even worse. It might be 97 or 98% chance. So that's why I'm telling you he's doing the best he can as artillery losing a capture battle. He can shoot the other guy at the base and the other guy he really can't shoot back. So it was a really good match in the end because Bernie just played it absolutely flawlessly. You watched him crush those guys and then get to the base, get in there and capture it in decisive fashion. Here we have the man of the hour, Bernie himself, MVP, once again in a crushingly valuable match. So we'll just dispense with all the other baloney. It doesn't really matter. You saw Bernie was the MVP with a phenomenal result. Here's how you know it was phenomenal beyond the regular win is because highlighted by the square is the Kolobinov's medal. That medal is awarded to a player who stands alone against five or more enemy vehicles and wins. Well, that's exactly what he did. He shot three of those guys, killing them. He ram killed the fourth one. And the final one, he just captured the base because he didn't have enough health to go after him and risk being shot. Because if he gets shot, we lose. So that's the thing about capturing the base flawlessly. He executed every bit of that plan to perfection and made no mistakes. Just absolutely outstanding stuff. And that's why he was the winner and also the MVP. So the other thing that was really great is that he did it in just beautiful fashion with all those kills and 12 medals. That's the thing. He, he was big timing it. This is called big time. You know, he's got that Kolobinov's medal. Another one you don't see very often is the bronze tank with the flag and the silver laurels. That is the invader medal for capturing the base by yourself. The horseshoe diamond is the hand of God. Take damage from four guys and survive the match. The golden tank on the far right is the steel wall block a thousand damage. Awesome. It was just awesome. His over 2,000 damage got him that first class badge for the Thresher. So, not to, you know, be overly flowery. Bernie was awesome in that match. And he saved us from what was looking like a bad loss. As Brownie was under pressure, got killed, you know. And then I got killed after relieving a little bit of pressure from Bernie, you know, when he called for help with that medium on the airstrip and I gave him the thunder strike like Thor himself. So that was really fantastic. And we were just watching him knowing, well, we've seen him do it before to us. It's not that it's not special. It's just something we've seen him do before. It's always special. The Kolobinov is a killer metal. If you don't have one, it's one of those things that, you just don't get them very easily because you got to stand, you got to be up against five guys and somehow win. You got to kill them. They got to die, fall off a cliff, you know, whatever. They've got to be eliminated one way or the other. Capture the base. That's an, a good one if you can get it because you, you never know how many guys it will take out, you know, however many is left on the, on the screen or, you know, on the battlefield. I did one once. Oh, man, it was crazy. It was a, I mean, when I say last ditch effort, it was a last ditch effort. I have the video on this channel. And it was just, it was an absolute miracle because those guys were dumb. They weren't paying attention. It was eight against one. And I was in my M3 Lee. 
I got to the base. I was capturing the base. One of the guys came back to the base, shot me, knocked me down to one hit point. I killed him. And I think when that guy got to the base and they saw that I was by myself there at the base, they all came after me. Instead of getting smart and going to my base and capturing it with three guys, they could have beaten me on the capture. They got greedy, came back, tried to get to the base, never made it. So I ended up facing eight guys by myself getting a Kolobinov's medal, which is the most I've ever seen anyone face and win because they were stupid. What makes Bernie's Kolobinov so good is that well, they were all they were all in good shape. He just uh, flat out killed four of them and then got the last guy with with pure brain power. No luck at all. That was just brain power. He outfought that guy. He outplayed the other guys and killed them, you know, one at a time in stellar fashion. And in fact, the video you're seeing here is a template for how to win a Kolobinov's medal because there's no luck involved. He shows you, you need to get those guys preferably one-on-one -on -one and allow your abilities to take over. So one of the things that, that gets him the Kolobinov's medal is that he's rolling in a tank where he's devastating, as you saw, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. A lot of tanks fit this bill. Panzer 3J is another one that's really good in that way. Now, you know, stuff like, for example, say a Panzer 1C. Very fast tank, but has no armor to speak of. So you, you don't want to run to crazy tanks sometimes. You know, like I say, look, I, I want to roll in money makers. Not, not actual silver money makers, but when I say money maker, I mean tanks that win under pressure. You just saw a five man pressure situation, and Bernie did it like it was nothing. Like it was easy. He made it look easy. It's not easy, it's difficult. He's like, Well, I'm low on ammo. I'm like, Well, don't miss. You're you. You can do this. And that also, you know, jacks up the difficulty that he had low ammo. So. You know, it's just one of those things. I'd rewatch this again so you can see just how expertly he executed the plan to pull off this medal. Really outstanding stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please consider leaving a like for Bernie. Leave him a congratulations message if you would. That would be fantastic. Tell your friends. That way they'll have a chance to learn about this, like, and possibly subscribe. So I have more message. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have more videos to make, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm going to go get back to work and see what Bernie's up to now. Who knows what I've missed making this video? I'll see you guys later. Thanks again.